Hello beautiful Scorpios! Welcome on my YouTube channel Ivana Tero. It's time for weekly love tarot reading October 4th until October 10th 2021. Let me start your reading with Oracle Love Cards. Now sit back, enjoy and have some fun with me and my cards. Okay, Oracle, Oracle Love Tarot Deck. Wow! <laughs> Marriage. No more, no less, but honey, prepare, prepare for marriage proposal. Ta -da -da -da. Did you expect it? Such a card? Well, maybe some of you did, but some of you maybe have no clue. Your partner have big surprise for you. So, what will happen next? Denial? What? Are you in a denial? Maybe something is wrong with your marriage. Maybe some of you are in a denial. Guess I don't know, you know. I'm not saying every single oracle, tarot card could be applied on your life. So, for now, I have what I have. Let's continue. This is your destiny. Your destiny is, well guys, we will see, so marriage, denial and destiny. My, my, your destiny is changing. Or maybe something inside of your marriage is changing. Some of you even though could be in some denial. Guys, of course I need more cards to see what the heck is going on. Fiance. Fiance. Marriage, destiny. So, Scorpios, with every single new tarot card, it's much more easier for me to make, you know, some conclusion, even though we just started. If you have a fiancé, this person will marry you. If you are single, you can meet your fiancé, meaning a person who will marry you. This person will change your life forever. Because my cards are saying, you see, your destiny is changing. My, oh, my. I still don't know what this denial have to do with your weekly love reading. But, you know, I will, I will draw more cards. So, you know, I think, guys, it will make, you know, some sense. Okay. Uh, I adore you. I adore you. You are pitch. So this person likes you so very much. I adore you. You know, I want to be your fiancé. I want to marry you. I want to be with you. For sure, I want to stay with you. So Scorpios, not bad. Someone adores you. This person, your partner or your fiancé, is, you know, preparing some Surprise, surprise, surprise. You can get a wedding ring, a marriage, marriage ring, marriage, marriage, marriage ring, marriage ring, marriage ring. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Let's go on, guys. You know, let's go on. I have so many thoughts inside of my head. Okay, before I draw another oracle, let me, guys, first of all, show your cards so you can follow me follow me why don't you follow me okay honey now let's proceed big week scorpios this is big 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 week for many of you okay ink pot problems to be resolved aha uh -huh. problems in your marriage honey don't look away deal with the problem if you have some problems this is why you see have a denial so don't try to walk away you know uh, confront with this person confront with with your problems don't put problems under the rag because this ain't gonna help you some of you could be in a denial some of you fox Shrewdness and 
resourcefulness, especially in business. So who is acting like a fox? Who is so smart? Shrewdness, resourcefulness, resourcefulness, especially in business. Okay, so honey, be like a fox, be like a fox, right? Okay, it looks like some of you have, you know, a couple of, you know, problems. Deal with it, you know, be smart, or maybe you need to outsmart, you know, someone. But mostly I think this is connected with your job, not that much with your, uh, with your love reading. Okay, now, Scorpios, let's dive even much more deeper in your reading. Let me see the face of your fiancé. Let me see this person who will marry you. And let me see this person who adores you. Eight of Wands. Phone call. Scorpios. Phone call. A lot of things are going on at the same time. Too much is going on. Uh, family, job, traveling, phone calls, text messages, emails, you know. A lot of people are in your surrounding, some of you will travel, some of you will celebrate something, right? Uh, could be the sign of a stress, which guys, I already mentioned, this ink pot problems to be solved. But if you have some problem, I think you will find <clears throat> the solution. You will find solution. So uh, you can get a lot of opportunities. This opportunity could cause the problem especially when it comes to your career. So, um, unexpected events, unexpected topics, unexpected rapid, rapid, you know, change, like marriage or new love relationship, guys, you know, could be, <clears throat> could be a person, one person could fall in love with you, this person can change your life, just like that, you see? So, you see, your destiny is changing I think some of you will travel because of your job or because of your business. Uh, never mind, you are smart and you have this ability to multitask. You can do a lot of things at the same time. Okay, Scorpios, so Eight of Wands usually represents a surprise, like unexpected news are coming, could be unexpected phone call or simply unexpected development of your situation right so i think you will deal with this problem i don't think scorpio person scorpio people you don't like to live in denial right i you know i think of scorpio people you you can deal with any kind of you know problem you can do it you can deal with it page of wands page of wands is courageous person could be aries could be leo could be sad, optimistic, creative, but a little bit impatient. If you're dealing with a person who's a little bit impatient, then maybe this is not that good. You like peace in general. You like to go, you know, deep. But this person typically, especially Aris Lisech, uh, they are not, uh, they are usually, they, they don't like to go in depth, especially if you want to open yourself or if you want to talk about your previous life and some secrets, this person is much too fast. Once again, Scorpios, I can see news uh, and exciting opportunities. Create something. Do things that fuel your passion and finish what you just started. Finish what you just started. Okay? Eris Leo Sage you can expect a phone call, but I still think like this person is too fast in some way for you, or everything is happening too fast. I think you ain't gonna like things moving, shifting, changing, or starting in a, in a way which is like too fast for you. I think you like to do things, you know, in a, in a much more slower pace. Next card is Four of Cups. Ah, you can fail to recognize a magical opportunity, but I must say someone else could fail to recognize 
magical opportunity which will be given the two of you. Fourth cups also showing someone from your past, probably crying, you know, over the spilled milk. Crying over the spilled milk. Someone missed the point, who you are, what you can give to them, how smart you are, how good you are, how loving you are. Don't allow yourself to be distracted from your daily life because a lot of things about your job, uh, your business are coming in. Don't think that much about your past, what happened, happened. Uh, don't stay in a denial, Scorpius. Move on. Just move on. Okay? Some of you need to wake up. Some of you have a real serious problems and you have denial in your reading. So, uh, I can see for some of you, especially if you're single or maybe if you're unhappy with your life, I can see some uh, discontentment. I can see even some boredom. But when this person appears in your life, this Aries is Sage, you will forget about boredom all together. So in the meantime, while you're waiting, this excitement and this phone call, do something for you. Uh, uh, keep your eyes on the price, okay? And there you go. You see, guys, in only one second, your life will change. This is the second time I can see marriage proposal in your weekly reading. This is marriage and oracle card is saying marriage. Now all of a sudden I can see you. Uh, you have so much to celebrate. You see? You and your suitor. You and your spouse. I think some of you will buy a house and a beautiful, beautiful house in the nature close to some woods or some lake or maybe sea or something. I can see you dancing, singing. This is engagement. Many of you will get engagement ring. Be grateful for this abundance. Be grateful for what is coming in your life, or what you already have in your life. Okay? Peace. Contentment in your personal life. Everybody knows this is my favorite card. I like colors and roses. And this beautiful young woman and this real handsome man. Engagement. Celebration. Mm -hmm. Going out. Having a fun. Mingling with a lot of people. Maybe you should start dancing if you're single. Balance. Uh, balance is about patience. By the way, this is major kind of temperance. But in this deck, the title is Balance. Okay, so stop comparing yourself with other people. What you have, what other people have, what you are missing, blah, 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 whatever. Don't do that. Trust in divine moment, divine time. For sure, be patient and you can count on this divine intervention. I have a feeling, Scorpius, you are you are leaving you are de, 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 departing something on, uh, in your life and destiny your guardian angel and god himself will somehow surprise you with with something you are leaving something toxic could be to toxic relationship or toxic narcissistic type of a person okay self-control balance, extraordinary success. So guys, I think this makes sense if you ask me. And I like your reading so much. I really hope, Scorpius, you will like your reading as well. So, comment, like, share, subscribe on my channel, or if you want, call me and schedule a private reading with me on Skype. All in all, there is a person who is waiting on you. Eris Leo Sedge, or simply your fiancé, or Pisces, or Cancer. And this person is ready to marry you because they 
adores you. God bless you all. Bye.